Welcome to this week's PHP Development Podcast by Matthew Kamani. For any questions about this podcast or any other resources, visit www.c2bsolutions.co.uk or email php at c2bsolutions.org.uk. We hope you enjoy. I just wanted to um, share some stats this week um, that I've been getting questions about this quite a lot when I speak to clients. Um, they'll be they'll ask me you know the top frameworks being um, requested by other companies um, there may be other people interested and this is you know I, I love a bit of stats sometimes so um, they won't change your life or anything but it's good to it's always good to know um, I will start with the top PHP frameworks being requested and being used now without a surprise I'm sure a lot of you will know um, the top frameworks being requested because most of you use it at least the top three anyway or are interested in using it now the top one is Laravel by Taylor Oakwell um, which is interesting obviously considering it's not been around as long as others but is the most requested for most companies out there and most companies I'm speaking to nowadays they may um, they may not be using Laravel, but they'll say, you know, if someone has Laravel in their skill set, they're much of interest because they're considering in um, moving to towards using Laravel for for different reasons, which I won't get into because I'm sure you know that. Um, that's a that's a topic for another day. The second one is Symfony. Um, is Symfony, um, and obviously Laravel and Symfony, there's there's some connections as as you know. Um, now, Symfony obviously has different contributors. Um, now, it's a twenty percent of jobs in the last twelve months, at least, they requested um, or wanted the developers to have Symfony um, with Laravel. Sorry, I should have shared that. Laravel is about twenty-eight percent, around twenty-eight percent of jobs in the last twelve months requested wanted the developers mainly mainly um, this is not a good to have skill. It's mainly they want that's their main skill they want twenty-eight percent. Um, one at Laravel, 20% Symfony. Um, now, I know there are companies that may say, hey, we want you to have Zend or Laravel or Symfony. But what the stats I'm sharing is the main skill, the core skill they want, they must have. They want someone with exposure with Laravel, 28%. 20% um, Symfony. And the third one was Zend Framework. About 13% of jobs in the last 12 months requested or wanted developers to, to have um, Zend Framework. Now, obviously, Zend out of this, I believe Zend is their oldest um, from Zend Technologies. Um, the rest of them are um, Code Igniter, um, Cake PHP, Yi Framework. Now, this were not requested as much. And what I did find is that most companies, even though they may say um, Yi Framework, if you don't have Yi, it's not a deal breaker. So, um, yeah, there are companies that obviously use it, wanting to have it. But mostly, it's not a deal breaker if you don't. Whereas when it comes to Zend, when it comes to Laravel and Symfony, most companies that use it heavily, if you don't have it, mostly is a is a deal breaker, especially on a senior level um, or middleweight level. Maybe junior, they, they can be a bit of excuse on or I mean a bit of room to come in and pick it up. But you know, most companies that are using this heavily, if you don't have those three, it's a deal breaker. So. That's something to to consider in regards to CMSs. Um, I know not all developers are very keen on CMSs, but the top three most requested was WordPress. I'm not surprised there. Magento um, and Drupal. No surprise there at all. Um, and the rest of them um, come after that. Now this month, um, April, there was about approximately 800 PHP jobs posted. Um, now, not to say that there were only around you know I'm not saying that there were only 800 jobs in the whole of UK this is the jobs that were posted um, in, in in two of the most popular um, job boards out there um, that most people use um, from those only six percent so from around 800 jobs um, last month only around six percent were contract now I'm not saying they're not that many contract jobs um, what I am saying or what this indicates is that most contracts jobs are not being advertised um, so you know that's a that's a, a good thing for those people who are considering getting into contract to know um, job boards is not the best place to find a contract job because most of them are not being advertised from experience um, the contract jobs are filled I did not advertise any of them 
um, to be honest. They came to me. I knew a group of people. I went to them, and one one of them was was good enough for the job. So, um, it just it, that's the contract market. Um, so again, job boards is not the best place to find a contract jobs. Even though you can find some, um, about six percent were advertised. Um, obviously as well, it's it's quite interesting to see that most jobs that were posted, about ninety six percent of PHP jobs posted are with agencies so they they're with the recruitment agency and only three percent was with a direct employer that's another indication that it's quite important to build relationships with the right agencies or if you have relationships with them or they're specialists in in the in your in your niche or the the whatever you know obviously we're talking about php here if you see that they tend to recruit for that quite a lot it's good to build relationships with them because this are you know they'll find out you know agencies will find out about these jobs before anyone else does most companies again um, from the stats only about three um, percent advertise directly um so again job boards you will find um, of course adverts but most of them will be from agencies um, so another bet is if there's some people who don't want to go through agencies which is fine it could be that you want to connect with talent acquisition teams um, so you can you know connect directly with those companies if you don't don't want to go through agencies so that's the thing to think about I mean um, I thought that I always thought that most PHP jobs would be in London but actually most PHP jobs in the last 12 months were in the south southeast of England I, again this is based on the roles that were advertised um, so you know this is approximate figures so about 20% um, jobs were in the southeast of England only 18% were in London and then the rest of them um, follow from there I mean and most PHP jobs this may not be important but it may be important for more people who are junior or middleweight and they're looking to step up to the next level um, most PHP jobs are paying between 30 to 40 that's their market um, in the last 12 months at least anyway and for those people who are interested in doing remote I'm not sure I'm sure it's not everyone but the jobs that were fully remote as, especially in April, there were, there was about 80, 80 jobs uh, remote. Obviously, again, not to say there's only eighty jobs remote were available uh, in April. There are probably more, but again, it just goes to show that some jobs are not being advertised. People are going directly to to people they're already connected with or they've had a conversation with before. And you know what? I think one mistake sometimes. I see people make is only having conversations with agencies or companies when they're looking um, when they sh it's good to be proactive and have conversations with agencies even when you're not looking you know sometimes if someone emails you about a job that you're not interested in and you like the sound of the job or you like the way they approach you then you know make a connection with them connect to them on LinkedIn and keep that contact and you know have a conversation that when the role comes up that's interesting let them let them um, let them let you know about the role and you know so that if a role comes up you don't have to go to job boards or you don't have to rush when you're looking um, and, and fight for jobs out there but you know if you're connected with someone they'll, they'll they'll let you know and again as I said this is what I recruit for mainly I'm not the only person that does PHP there are other really good recruiters out there but I focus on PHP so you know I'm happy to connect with people and you know I'm quite honest if I don't have a job I'll tell you I don't have a job and I'm sure most people are like that but you know there, there are jobs that will come up and I think you know I had a conversation with um, ABCD so let me get in touch with them and see whether they're looking so that's the stats and yeah hope, hope, hope that's helpful yeah and um, yeah hope to be sharing this monthly this stats monthly so it'll be good to obviously let you know that the, the, the frameworks that are coming up anything that's picking up traction anything that companies are asking for um, you know anything that I think you should look into I, I will share that with you and, and hope um, it adds value thank you thanks for listening to this week's podcast for questions feedback suggestions or topics you'd like us to cover in the future please email php at c2bsolutions.org.uk. Thank you.